Something look totally different down there. It's gonna be great. All right, so guess what we're doing? <laughs> she wants me to go. All right, so I gotta go. We're gonna go put this freaking uh, Mishimoto <laughs> on this car. Supposedly you're gonna have to lose the fog lights, but you know me, I'm gonna try and not lose the fog lights. I might just uh, weld up some different stuff to make it work and uh, yippee skippy. So yeah, so I forgot my camera. So I drove like all the way, well probably halfway there and um, went, oh shit, I forgot the camera. These guys are gonna be really mad at me if I, you know, um, do this without filming it. Don't pay attention to anything that's in the back seat. It's fine. So we're we're gonna do that later. I'll tell you about that later. Later. Anywho. All right. I promise you guys this is gonna be a better video than the last one. Cause the last one kind of sucked. But anyway. Farts. You got farts. Farts. Lots and lots of farts. What is in this box? Front mount intercooler. Is it? Yeah. Is it Coolant overflow tank. Mishimoto. I already did this morning. You good? Yeah. I don't know that. Alright, let's take all these bullets out. Alright, she's over here taking this thing apart already, and I'm trying to get this camera aimed. And you were talking to the guy, so all I right. just went to town. She's over here taking this thing apart already, and uh, I'm not even filming. But I want to show you all the stuff that we got and how to actually put this thing on, so you guys don't yell at me for not being descriptive. Yes, I sorted the parts. Oh, hold on. All right, I'm in frame now. All right, so. I sorted. Yeah, she sorted all the parts, but I'll, I will show you. Look, they're all sorts of all over the place. I stacked the There's a shit ton of parts that come with this, this kit. To size. Ooh, and that's the coolant bottle, I think, right? Yeah. Dope. Overflow, yep. Yep. Michi so Moto. Part of this thing here? I'm gonna open this up, but I'm gonna open it up in a minute, and I gotta open that up, show you where it goes in a bumper. But first, before we go through all that, and I show you that, we're gonna take this apart. We're gonna, we're gonna do that now. All right, first we're gonna take the bumper off, and then uh, we'll go from there. I'm not gonna show you how to take the bumper off, because I'm sure you guys got an idea on how to take a bumper off. Um, you know, there's nuts and bolts and things, and somebody's, maybe some got some zip ties or something on there. But anyway, we'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty then, we got the bumper off. We gave it a little touch up with the black here because, you know, it's gotta look a little better than it did. Mm -hmm. This is nice, nice. That thing's tiny. Yeah, compared to that. Oh, it's so better than that junk. Shit. Yeah. So this is the coolant jug. Let's open her up. Damien! What happened? Go fuck yourself! <laughs> 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 Alright, so this is this guy right here. So, he goes on like so. Well, there's that. Well, Lady. Apparently, you smush your, your horn while you do it. Dogs are in the video. Darf, darf, darf! Yum, 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 yum! Since they were so kind to bust apart the box for us. Yeah. Halfway opened anyway. Shipping company. Okay. You got it open for us so I can take it out the rest of the way? Yeah. Okie dokie. Dude, this is a large entire cooler. Yeah, I know. Way bigger than that hunk of crap on top of the bar. Damien! You're Come missing here. it! Tom! Here, get that. Tom! That's a big bitch. What do you think? Thousand horsepower? Nah, I think this will. This will do like five. Oh, this will do a thousand, no problem. This is a it, big really? bitch. Oh, this yeah, thing fucking is huge! Big. It'll flow real good, I bet. I don't know, dude. I'm used to people with stock SR20s putting ones that are this tall in their shit, so. <laughs> I assume those are a thousand horsepower intercooler. That's a big ass intercooler, boy. I don't even know how to fucking mount that shit. Like. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, see, I'll go back here. Oh, stop it, stupid. Screenshot. <laughs> That's a screenshot right there. Oh, my God. That. Put Mishimoto uh, PNG coming out the end huge. of it. Huge. All right, so this is pretty simple to put on. Um, you got your, your stock bolts, they just zip on there, zip on over here, take your intercooler, place, actually you gotta put these little guys on. 
these guys got a little 10 mils they face out the single hole goes in the middle the oval hole each one go on the outside then this just takes a 12 mil bolt here and bolt here that's pretty much done the bottom has brackets there's two 10 mils here two 12 mils on the back from the factory spots take those out put the brackets on you're pretty much done there's not much to it um, so basically we're gonna go from here and uh, do all the piping take all that crap off the uh, the motor and we'll just keep it moving remove your top mount intercool there and don't forget to take all this shit out of the way shit that you're not going to use okay so all your intercooler piping come together and it labels on the labels on where it needs to go this is the hot side it obviously comes off the turbo goes around blah 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 comes to this side i'm gonna have to get rid of a bunch of stuff here to make this work so bear with me What's the temperature outside? Uh, why? All right, you just got to take this baloney apart. It's pretty simple. What are we doing? Removing the solenoid bracket and relocating. And I already did this little guy here and relocate it and got rid of the whole big thing that held all this. Okay. Why? We gotta move this big pipe here. This. So it comes from the intake right up down. Through. Yep. Up through, down through. Up through, down through. Over the river, through the woods. Alright. So this, this is kind of a funny setup because everything goes this way oh then comes back up around and in. So you got your turbo going out. The air is going to flow that away, through the intercooler this away, and then up this away, then into the motor. So it's a little funny. I wouldn't have set it up like that, but that's how they have it, I guess. So, yeehaw! Rid the world of that bullet bit. What happened? <laughs> now it has to be cut like up to here. Oh shit, we need like another two inches of that shit. Even look, right here it barely clears. Damn. Alright. Well, on the road again. All right guys, before we get this all uh, buttoned up, I just want to show you a few things. Um, big fat intercooler pipe goes that way. You'll see in the kit if you buy one. Comes up and around, and it goes to your intake. You have to get rid of this bracket. They supply you with a bracket to put your boost controller back in. And all the other bolloni that was here gets zip tied. So just zip tie, it's pretty simple. Um, you kind of have to, do what you got to do with this unless you get the Mishimoto intake and then it puts it in there nice and neat. Um, you can use your factory blow off valve or recirc valve and it goes right in. And um, they give you a choice of two different couplers one with a, for a bigger turbo, one for a smaller turbo. And then your pipe comes around, it goes right over the gas line to give you a little heat shrink so it doesn't rub on the gas line. Comes down, you get rid of your factory coolant tank you have to put this garbage uh, your old thing back onto their coolant tank which they should have just gave you a cap it would have been really nice um, you got couplers right there and it comes around I see a really short or small really thin uh, piping it's I think it's like two and a half inch anyway that comes around your elbow this is uh, the other side and uh, yeah go on your inner cooler Everything bolts up nice and neat. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you take it apart, you're not going to get nervous. You'll see where everything goes. Um, that's the, the mount for the intercooler. Pretty simple. Your stock bolts. Um, 
These go on. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really, it didn't take five hours. Um, it did take probably two and a half, three. Um, what else? Well, yeah, we cut out a big hole. So it's gonna look pretty sweet on there. Um, as far as how far you go to cut this out, all just cut way. it out, <laughs> cut it all out. The whole thing, cut it all out. Leave yourself a little gap, you know, on the edge. That's all. Fog lights, all that plastic's gone, both sides. No more fog lights, which I kind of wish we could keep them, but I don't know, maybe I'll figure out something later on. Um, yeah, all in all, it was pretty, uh, pretty easy. Is it worth 1300 bucks to do this? Eh, I hope so. Power-wise, I hope so. Um, if you can get a discount from Michi, get it. So, uh, yeah. Not a bad kit. Wasn't too too bad to uh, hook up. Wasn't too bad to put on there. So yeah, now we're gonna just button it up, get the bumper on. Get out of here. And get the hell out of here. So this oil is royal purple. Mm. You guys know. Put it from the bottom. Um, that's still not working. Still go on, go from the back or from the side. It's, still not. it's a little brown, but yeah, you gotta press this thing to focus. No, oh, it's focused. Oh. Well, anyway, the oil's really good. I didn't find shit in it at all, so. Shit's mint. So yeah. Pouring out for my homies. We just had Taco Bell. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, we did an oil change. What do we have, uh, what'd you say, 1,800 miles? Mm-hmm. 1,800? So yeah, 1,800 miles officially on this motor. This is the second oil change. We did the break-in oil. Drop that immediately, I don't know, 20 minutes later. And then uh, Royal Purple for the first, I don't know, what was it, 1,000, how, how many miles did we put on it? <laughs> like, what, 500? Is it? No, no. Anyway, oh, no. I'm, I'm fucking not paying attention. So, anyway, we. this is going to be the second um, oil change, or was the second oil change, so 1,500 miles. All right, that's it. I forgot to put the grill on, but my bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's the grill. People just leave them off. Why the fuck would you leave that off? It looks retarded. I know, but you know, you see a lot of blah with no. With That's no fucking grill. stupid. They're idiots. So yeah, we're gonna put these old deals on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you think, lady? Awesome. Now let's see if the hood shuts. Induction says men's not hot. Fuck you say. Induction, the air, men's not hot. The ting cold fun. <laughs> so anyway, we had to fucking change the routing of, of the fuel lines on this pipe because the hood would not shut with that pipe going above those fuel lines. So I'm gonna actually kind of take these off and make some nice new ones. And uh, yeah, got rid of this thing. And uh, what else? Couple two tree things here and there, but yeah, that was the gist of it. The biggest, the biggest struggle was what? That, that pipe being weird. Yeah. Because at first it went over these fuel lines. Because who would think that they would have to go in between the like the return and the filter, whatever thing? I don't know. I'm just weird. That. I'll make nice ones that don't go here. I'll make them so they go under and they're nice and neat. And I'm gonna get rid of most of that bullshit. Yeah. Not that. Oh, oh. I'm gonna get rid of most of that bullshit. And uh, yep, we're done. So we're gonna take this thing for a ride, see how it goes, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much the end of this video. So uh, you gotta let them know if the boost lag is, is uh, more noticeable now than it was before. Yeah, because more piping. One pipe. We got some toys we're playing with. So yeah, we're gonna go shoot some stuff. Thanks. Good. Nice. Power.
here we go. First time I drove it. She drove it last night, so I'm gonna drive it now. See if there's any issues or whatever. Nah, there's hardly any lag. Put a front mount on her shit. There's hardly any lag. Very little anyway. I gotta change the plugs now because it got soaked. So yeah, I gotta change the plugs because they got soaked. I'll take it for a little ride, see if uh, the computer relearns a little bit and whatnot. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother...